Hi, my name is Kim and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If I am new to you, I am a lover of literary fiction as well as book prizes. And as you can probably guess, I love the Booker Prize, the International Booker, the Women's Prize, and I also follow Canada Reads. So the time is upon us, the Booker shortlist. The International Booker shortlist has been announced and I have yet to take a look at it. So very briefly, my picks for, uh, well, my predictions slash wish list, which I will link the, a longer video in the description box below, but I have read six out of the 13 books and what I would like to see on the wish list, and according to what the judges criteria was, um, which they are looking for books that speak of courage and kindness, of the vital importance of community and of the effects of standing up to tyranny. So based on that, I would like to see Not a River by Salva Amada uh, from Argentina. It's translated by Annie uh, McDermott. This was an absolutely phenomenally beautifully written book. I would also like to see Crooked Plow by Itamar Verna Jr. from Brazil and translated by Johnny Lorenz. This is a debut novel and it is multi-generational. It's hard hitting and absolutely stunning. Uh, I also think, and I couldn't get a hold of a copy of this, I think White Nights by Ursula Honick from Poland and translated from Kate Webster will make it. This is a debut novel from a poet and is 13 interconnected short stories. I also would like to see Mater 210 by Han Suk Young, translated from the Korean by Sarah Kim Russell and Young J. Josephine Bay. I'm listing this because he is one of Korea's most renowned authors and uh, it is an epic multi-generational tale and has the absolutely grossest uh, beginning to a novel I have ever read. I just read a couple chapters. Uh, I also hope to see some patio by Rodrigo Blanco Calderon translated uh, by Noel Hernandez Gonzalez and Daniel Hahn and it's about the mass exodus of Venezuela and a man who is recovering from a fractured mar a marriage who starts to um, rescue all the stray dogs left behind. Now, I did split my last vote and uh, picked A Dictator Calls by Ismail Qadari, uh, and it was translated by John Hodgkins. But, um, and thank you, Helen, for the comment that you left in the video. I'm going to take this off because she said that it read more like nonfiction. So, my sixth choice will be The House on Via Gemetto by Domenico Stardoni, translated by Uneg Stranitsky. All right, so let's get to the list and see what they chose. So it says, interweaving the intimate and political in radically original ways. I listened to um, Kairos by Jenny um, Erpenbeck, and I did not like this book, but it does do exactly that in that it weaves the intimate and the political. All right, I'm going to open it up. Kairos is on there. Uh, I, I understand that theme um, of weaving the political and the intimate, and that book does it. I just thought it was too heavy-handed. I really felt uh, abused, and I thought that the male character really, really fell short, um, and it didn't come to life before me. Not a River by Selva Amada. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm hoping for... Oh, wow. Okay, so the details by uh, uh, Aya Genberg, 
I loved this book. I thought it was a five star read uh, and it, it probably will make my top 10 uh, or top 15 of 2024. But I didn't think that it weaved tyranny or the intimate and political in radically original ways. That's the only reason why I didn't pick it. Is it a stunning novel? Yes. Did I want more of it? Absolutely. But I'm so glad that they chose it. And Raider 210, we are in for a very long read, but I'm, I'm really happy to see this one. Oh, and What I'd Rather Not Think About uh, by Genti Pasuma. I did not um, predict that one. And last but not least, this absolutely stunning novel, Crooked Plow. I am so glad it made the list. So I actually picked three out of the six. And uh, I only have two more to read before the announcement is made in May. So very interesting choices. My top two are absolutely Crooked Plow and Not a River. Absolutely stunning. I'm thrilled that the details made it in. All right. So that's for me. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, Please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And please comment in the links below what you thought of the shortlist. How many books have you read? What are you looking forward to getting into? Are you going to take a good portion of your time to read this epic, very long book? But I'm thrilled. I can't wait to get to all of them. And I'm hoping to read uh, the books that didn't make it as well. So thanks again, and I hope to see you for my next video. Bye.